K method. We now use another method to solve the problem. It is called the K method. Exercise 6.5. Question 1. If A upon B is equal to C upon D, then prove that A upon B is equal to square root of A square plus C square upon square root of B square plus D square. Solution. We assume each ratio to be equal to K. That is, A upon B is equal to C upon D is equal to K. We then express A in terms of B and K. That is, A is equal to B K and C in terms of D and K. That is, C is equal to D K. We now take right hand side and substitute A with B K and C with D K. Hence, square root of A square plus C square upon square root of B square plus D square is equal to square root of B square K square plus d square k square upon square root of b square plus d square. Now, k square is a common factor. We hence write the right hand side as square root of into bracket b square plus d square into k square upon into bracket b square plus d square. b square plus d square will cancel out and we get square root of k square which is equal to k. Now, we know K is equal to A upon B. Therefore, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Question 2. If A, B, C are in continued proportion, then show that A plus B the whole square upon B plus C the whole square is equal to A square plus B square upon B square plus C square. Solution. We write the numbers in ratio form. Hence, A upon B is equal to B upon C. Let us assume each ratio is equal to K. Hence, B is equal to CK and A is equal to BK. We substitute B is equal to CK and get A is equal to CK square. We now take the left hand side and write all terms in terms of C and K. A plus B the whole square upon B plus C the whole square is equal to CK square plus CK the whole square upon CK plus C the whole square. We first put a curly bracket. We get CK common in numerator which is separated out followed by K plus 1 in bracket. We get C common in denominator which is separated out followed by K plus 1 in bracket. We then close the curly brackets and write the squares. We now simplify to get left hand side equal to K square. Let us take the right hand side and write all terms in terms of C and K. That is A square plus B square upon B square plus C square is equal to C square K raised to 4 plus C square K square upon C square K square plus C square. We now get C square K square as common factor followed by K square plus 1 upon C square into K square plus 1. We now cancel and simplify to get the right hand side also equal to K square. Therefore, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence, proved. Question 6. If A upon B is equal to C upon D is equal to E upon F, then show that each ratio is equal to into bracket 7A raised to 4 minus 3C raised to 4 plus 5E raised to 4 upon 7B raised to 4 minus 3D raised to 4 plus 5F raised to 4 the whole raised to 1 upon 4. Solution. Let us assume each ratio be equal to K. So we get A is equal to BK, C is equal to DK, E is equal to FK. Let us express A, C and E in terms terms of BK, DK and FK in right hand side. We get right hand side equal to into bracket 7B raised to 4, K raised to 4 minus 3D raised to 4, K raised to 4 plus 5F raised to 4, K raised to 4 upon 7B raised to 4 minus 3D raised to 4 plus 5F raised to 4 the whole expression raised to power of 1 upon 4. We can see that K raised to 4 is common factor in the numerator. 
we therefore separate it and put the remaining factors in small brackets and we get k raised to 4 into bracket 7b raised to 4 minus 3d raised to 4 plus 5f raised to 4 upon 7b raised to 4 minus 3d raised to 4 plus 5f raised to 4 the whole expression raised to power of 1 upon 4. We now cancel the common factor 7b raised to 4 minus 3d raised to 4 plus 5f raised to 4 and get k raised to 4 raised to power of 1 upon 4 which is equal to k raised to 1 upon 4 into 4 which is equal to k. And students, k is equal to a upon b. Therefore, our left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence, proved.